New tonight, a man continues to adjust to life after losing an arm to an alligator attack. I have PTSD. I have dreams of me being near that water about two or three times a night. Thank you for watching the Night Beat. I'm Taylor Wirtz. And I'm Russ McCaskey. Wink News first brought you the story from Port Charlotte back in 2023. 24-year-old Jordan Rivera fell into a pond behind Bonito, uh, Bandito's bar while trying to relieve himself. Moments later, this 10-foot alligator tore his arm off. A group of Good Samaritans managed to pull Jordan out of the water. Tonight, he is sharing his story of survival with Wink News. The Night Beat's Maddie Heron joins us live from Bandito's. Maddie, did Jordan think he would make it out alive? Jordan Rivera told me he has no memories of the alligator attack that happened here just outside of Banditos back in May of 2023. With his right arm gone forever, it's safe to say that he will never be quite the same. But he told me that doesn't stop him from moving forward. Rivera and I sat down at his home where he showed me some of the ways he's adjusting almost a year and a half later. He's screaming. He is conscious. He's screaming right now. And we cannot see where the gator's at. A glimpse into the panic as bystanders reported the attack that changed Jordan Rivera's life forever. Rivera said all he remembers is using the bathroom near this pond just outside a Port Charlotte bar back in May 2023. It was just like a flash. And then... I was in the hospital. Waking up in the hospital, Rivera didn't realize this 10-foot alligator, later caught by FWC, had attacked him, let alone what the massive reptile took with it. For me to wake up and for them to tell me I have no arm and that this and that an alligator had gotten me, I was like, alligator, the last thing I would have thought in the world. His injury turns one simple task into daily struggles, but for Rivera, losing his arm does not mean losing his motivation. I do. Pretty much most things most people do, but maybe a different type of way. Rivera showed us some of the adjustments he has made. To name a few, he uses a special grip steering wheel to drive his car. And when it comes to putting on a belt, what first took him half an hour now takes less than a minute. A sign of growth as he continues to navigate his new reality. I realize that I have one arm, but that doesn't let me down. I don't let anything hold me back. I wake up and it's a new step for me. Rivera told me much of his progress is thanks to his big support system of friends and family. He also said one of his future and current challenges that he sees from this incident is that he can't find a disability insurance that can help him show the next steps. Live on the Night Beat, Maddie Heron, Wink News.